Hello guys, I'm back with another video. Please like, share, subscribe so I can get more motivation to make videos for you. So yeah, I begin with the question that I get in my comment section. Uh, if you have genetically good hair, what about that? These things affect like hair care and all like some people give advice and they have naturally good hair. Let me tell you, I'm one of them. My parents have uh, given me very good genes. They have provided me good genes. Yes, truth. But you know what? I messed it all up. Yeah, I just ruined it all. So basically, I'll tell you something little bit from my life so you can get inspiration up, uh, from it. So yeah, I used to have this much thick hair, okay? Right now I have... Uh, approximately this much okay yeah this much so yeah I used to have very thick hair because my parents do but when I went in my high school and everything I suffer from some of the issues of my family I got some health issues depression and because of that, what happened? Guess. I started losing my hair. On Not only that. My hairs are not like this from the beginning, okay? Maybe after doing some shampooing, treatment, and then they can... Uh, they used to be like the treatment in a sense. Normal. Normal like washing your hair with good conditioner. I don't know you will get relate to this or not, but... Back then, conditioner was a big deal, you know, for our family. It's not like we can afford everything before. So it was a big deal. Using a conditioner, having smooth hair. So yeah, but not a big difference. After two days, they again become completely rough like that. So because of whatever I was going through, medication and all, I also went through rough phase where I was not having very healthy hair and this much growth that I'm having right now. They, th there was so many split ends. Also, I couldn't wash them properly. I couldn't have time for anything. I'd be just messed up. Moral of the story is you can have good hair genetically, but if you don't care for them, they can be ruined. They can go. For example, when women give birth, like when my mom gave birth, she also chopped off her hair. Because, of course, she couldn't take care of them. And also there was, uh, there was a lot of hair fall, immense amount of roughness. She couldn't take care of it. So you understand what I'm trying to say. And after birth, after she gave birth to my brother also, this thing happened, continue. After she gave birth to me, this thing continued. But she cared for her hair. She oiled her hair. Her mother used to oil her hair nicely. Also give uh, good food and everything. So she bring them back to life. Okay. But it's not easy in this time. Uh, like right now in this generation we are living in. It's, mess it's not just normal. It's all messed up. Because we don't have natural stuffs anymore that much. Everything is just mixed and made and we don't know what to use, you know. And whatever is natural is highly costly. Immense amount of money you have to pay if you want good hair, good skin, retinol oil, whatever you people buy. I, I didn't use any of these right now. Because, of course, I haven't crossed my 30 years. I'm just 26. What am I going to do to put on uh, put retinol on my face? High, what do you call it? Hyaluronic acid, whatever that thing is. That is okay. I have a moisturizer which have that thing in it. So, yes, you can have good hair naturally, genetically. But caring for them, it's in your hand. For example, somebody can give you a very brand new beautiful laptop. But how you take care of it, na, it really matters. Okay, that thing will be running without any care for four years. Three years. What about after that? After that, you may going to be needing to service it. You have to give it to the person who can care for it. Whatever issue is coming, you know. 
you understand what i'm trying to say so even though you have genetically good hair you still need to care for it you still need to nourish it you still need to eat healthy you still need to be healthy and you still need to do things that can make the chances of your hair fall and hair going bad less and genetically who has hair loss and things like this that their parents have very bad hair and all there are definitely so many uh, people who actually bring back their hair by doing routines regularly i cannot suggest you anything for bald uh, baldness okay uh, i baldness i am completely back for that i i don't know what to do about that for that only doctor can help you but if you have like this much hair okay this much and if it's going less th- that can be solvable okay that's not a problem but yeah genetically if you are bald if your parents are bald then there is no other way than going for a transplant you know what, what they do with the hair hair transplant but anything else you can do it like this and why you hope that something can help you rapidly magically if you know that your history is like this you know your parents were bald ba- bald and they had ba- bad hair but if from the young age you started caring for it na there are high chances that you can recover your hair growth and everything better maybe going to gym maybe having healthy diet maybe doing everything that you can to protect your hair your nails and everything there are chances okay i think one answer i have given see 7 minutes almost next video will be coming soon and i will be answering most of the question there as well okay bye take care